Well, thank you very much for the organizers for this opportunity to present. Okay, uh, my name is Jane Yoshikawa. I'm going to start. So today's flow of talk is like this. As you remember, uh, recently, increasing media attention to the emergence of infectious disease has heightened the concern regarding travel destinations. We might recall in 2016, the media intensely reported the outbreaks of Zika virus infection in Brazil, especially in the connection with microcephaly of newborn babies, like this. Soon, very um, academic, very uh, famous academic media journal published an article that is advocating cancellation of Summer Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. Media also repeated this news. Trouble cancellation negatively affects travel and tourism industry. It may actually result in increased high and unemployment that may lead to social issues. So it is important for travel destinations to prepare for and respond to outbreaks of infectious diseases. Today's uh, talk is focusing on dengue virus infection. Uh, the symptom ranges from mild fever to severe shock syndrome. It is mediated, uh, it is more number of local cases have, have been reported by more countries, especially uh, including Japan. This disease is mediated by the same mosquitoes that mediate Zika virus. So far, no antiviral, um, antiviral drug and vaccination available is not very effective. So at the end of the day, mosquito control is an essential preventative tool. Dengue, um, in short, has been reported by international travel destinations such as Hawaii and Bali, Indonesia. For example, one out of five dengue imported cases into Japan in 2013 came from Bali. Where is Bali? Well, it's here below the equator, so it's tropical climate. And there are eight districts, and uh, population, local population is about four million, and there are three tourist areas with tourist concentration. Let's look at the number. Domestic tourist, together with international tourist, 10 million, it's more than double the local resident. And tourism is important in this um, province in Indonesia. Well, we have reported that majority of case, dengue cases in Bali can be explained by reported cases in two tourist areas, Denpasar and Badun. But it's difficult to tell the international travelers to wear long sleeves and long trousers especially when they are info uninformed and unprepared about mosquito and dengue prevention and control measures to adopt. Some of them may not know how to correctly apply insecticides or repellent. Furthermore, they may accidentally or carelessly leave empty containers outside their hotel rooms. After rain shower, there will be stagnant water inside the container, there you go, mosquito will lay eggs. So we looked at the health sector in Indonesia. As you can see from this chart, there's an after effect or side effect of decentralization in Indonesia, which is fragment health sector. There isn't much direct centralized relationship between Ministry of Health and other local health sectors. And there have been more involvement of politicians being a chief influencer. That means complicated chain of command in the health sector, weak leadership, and lack of influential actors. So how can we help? What can be done to support Bali's SDG goal number three? We do realize reducing disease burden and promote population health is essential to achieve development. 
So we tried to reduce incidence of mosquito-borne virus infectious diseases in Bali province, and then we do realize we need to aim not only uh, travelers, but also local people to help. And we do realize that maintaining and improving such an effort is essential to sustain development. So where can health education to international travelers take place? We had to think about this before we launched the study. Well, airport would be a logistic issue. There will be a logistic issue. So we are targeting hotels. Second question, what can be done to strengthen mosquito control in tourist spots? We wish we could improve the local government health sector, but this is a very, very difficult task and big of a challenge. So again, we are focusing to engage hotels and other accommodation facilities. So we launched our studies, one, to advocate the proactive role of hotel sector to outreach to international travelers. And then second, to do so, we need to find out what's been done at the hotel sector in terms of mosquito control, then find gaps to recommend improvement. Thereby, we hope to empower the hotel sector to disseminate necessary information of dengue prevention to international travelers. So to achieve our objectives, we launched uh, this study um, in 2014 workshop and field work analysis advocacy. Here we are in 2018 trying to move on to publication. Uh, we did conduct a statistical analysis, but due to the time constraint today, I'm not going to include statistical analysis. So we start with the workshop. After lots of uh, negotiation, persuasion, motivation, we worked together with some partners, uh, especially the uh, sorry, health sector and uh, local hotel industry. And the workshop focused on dengue virus infection and information on mosquito control. And we outreached to hotel personnel in the hope of that they will be sharing this information with their colleagues at their hotel. And conducted in English and in Bahasa Indonesia. We also conducted a survey to find out their knowledge and also mosquito prevention measures they are implementing. So the characteristics of the surveyors, uh, the respondents were from human resources and housekeeping, customer services, safety and security and so on. Although there are some promising data, but we found only 67% of the personnel were aware that dengue is transmitted by mosquito bites. And 83% of the facilities reported mosquito nuisance problem at their hotels. So when we asked what they do to prevent mosquito bites of hotel guests, these were the answers, but at the bottom you will see fogging. 26 out of 32, that is 81%. Well, what is fogging? You, you release insecticide, chemical insecticides into the air, and it becomes foggy like this. Well, is that effective? Well, we have tested, and by the end of the day, mosquito will all come back after they have just moved to another uh, area when the operation is on. So among the hotel utilizing fogging, we found out 77% do it more than twice a week, which is frequent. On-site on inspection also found many problems. And if there's a gap between the front doors of the hotel room, mosquito can come inside and wait for the hotel guests to come back. But when we analyzed roles of the hotels, we found some social implication of tourism in Bali which is controversial because agricultural lands have been converted into tourism area and some locals lost the land and majority of the tourism asset belong to the investors outside from 
body. And then, even luxurious hotel being seen as, well, destroyer of environment, actually, uh, costing the local specific features, culture, environment, stress, causing stress and degradation, or waste issue, or damage of uh, coral reef and mangrove. But hotel sector does have abundant experiences in handling health and life-threatening risks in body. For example, bomb in 2002, and SARS outbreak, Iraq war, and another bomb attack by working on marketing strategy and also improving safety in the environment. So what can be do? What can be done to increase the knowledge on dengue among the hotel sector? They are lacking currently information on dengue disease and mosquitoes. And then what can be done to improve the mosquito control at hotels? We need to provide more scientific information for them to adopt. This is the most difficult one. What, what can be done as the hotel being a source of contention? It's not very simple, but we hope to begin by persuading hotels which share the local, uh, which share borders with local communities to consider taking care of the communities as well as they do uh, mosquito control. Uh, limitation of the study is a small sample size and the timing of the uh, inspection. And conclusions, uh, increased knowledge is important for, for us to empower the hotel sector to reach out to the international travelers. And they do require scientific information more frequently. And to improve the public health intervention in Bali, which is a tourist destination, more active role of hotels in educating international travelers is uh, helpful and desirable. And our follow-up studies include building risk communication capacity and mosquito surveillance at hotels. And with this, thank you very much. <laughs>